Welcome Pisces to your spiritual reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, Let's see what we got going on. We're doing blocking today. So first card kind of is what blocks you using the sacred traveler deck going on a little journey. So first it's talking about crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So knowing that what's blocking you is this crossing the bridge. You need to start releasing and start some healing and connecting, um, whichever one it is, right? Because you could say, well, I'm already healing, but maybe I'm not really connecting or mending, or maybe I'm not releasing, right? Something of that. So you'll know exactly what it is because it'll pop in your head and you'll say, oh, dang, right? So crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time to healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make the amends and then let it go. So whatever rifts you're going through, you know that there's a land over the bridge. So what land are we going to? We're going straight to the water of healing. Wow. So this way, once you start doing this, you're going to cross this bridge and look at that water. You're going to get right underneath there and go straight to the water. So it looks like you're not really going to go to the land. It looks like you're going to just cross it, go down here and start healing, right? Healing and clearing the past to heal the present, making sure that you rejuvenate within the rain. You can do this by actually taking a shower and just feeling like it's all washing away. Um, you can take a bath and let it wash away. Water is a great way of healing and allowing things to feel like it's really rejuvenating and washing away the old. Water is a great purifier. Um, I do it a lot. And shower is great because you can, you know, you can, you know, do it however you want. I always like to stand in the shower and pretend that I'm under a waterfall, right? Because that way it feels like it's clean, it's clear, it doesn't have any, you know, it's just 100% pure from the earth. Um, and just allowing it to wash away everything. So that's a good way to do that if you don't like baths, right? A lot of people are like, I don't take a bath. So that's also a great way to do that. Rainbow blessings, you're going to go straight from over here to feel like you're all cleansed and purified. And this is going to heal. That's when the healing really starts to begin. And then you're going to walk right into the final outcome, which is the rainbow blessings. So on the other side of this, you see this water over here. I don't know how far you can see, so... Let's just bring them up closer. So you're going here to here to the river bank to cleanse. And then from this cleansing, you're going to walk over here from this water straight over here to this road under this rainbow bridge and come straight home where you're going to feel pure, purified, better, rejuvenated, and the blessings are showering your life. And this is going to open up all, not only your just feeling, you know, new vitality, but it's going to also open up your chakras as well, making you feel like you're whole again. And I love the rainbow because it's showing all the chakras coming through, making you feel like yourself, right? Not holding on to anything. And it could just be the stupidest little thing that you're still holding on to, right? But even though it's like, you're going to say it's the stupidest little thing, it could feel like the biggest backpack of it all, right? But once the rainbow blessings comes in, you're going to feel like it was the dumbest thing right? At least that's how I feel, right? And of course, there's going to be some that you're not going to ever really 100%, you know, get over. And that's fine because we are humans. But I'm just talking about the little ones that seem to weigh you down, that you know that there's things that are going on that you really need to get this past and you're really trying to work on it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And yes, it takes a long time. That's why we do them at the end of the month. Um, so that you can work on them all month and it might even take years to get through some, some of them depending on how big your backpack is. Okay. But at least it gives you an idea of how to continue with the process. But it's very good about letting you understand that you can continue to keep rejuvenating and going and this will bring growth. Right. This is going to bring the ultimate growth. We'll read that card later. We'll get back to that at the end of the reading. And so crossing bridges over here. Clarify the crossing bridges for Pisces, please, my beautiful Pisces. Yes, because right now there are certain things in your life where it just feels like it's nothing but bad luck. You just feel like you're stuck in this rut of bad luck. 
and this cycle in this area, right, is just nothing but unfortunate. It's like a series of unfortunate events. That's a weird movie. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so anyways, yes, spirit says have more faith. And by bringing in the faith, you're going to change the wheel of fortune around, okay? We're going to start trying to move this wheel. And the more we keep going, we're going to change it. It's going to cycle, okay? And by the time you get over here, it's going to be right side up, okay? So keep the faith, my friends, okay? And keep meditating and keep doing the things that you're trying to do to release and heal and connect. And this right here is also connecting with the divine. We're doing spiritual readings. This is the universe himself, right? Because this is what it's saying. Give your stuff to the universe. Don't hold on to it. It's not yours. The universe wants it. They want to take care of it. Allow the releasing to the universe. It could be over a Leo. Maybe you were having problems with a Leo in Aries or a Sagittarius. For some of you, it is a person. You're trying to release this person. Could be anybody. Okay, but this is also going to bring back the strength, having the strength. By keeping the faith, you are going to build this strength. You're going to build all this stuff, using your creativity as well to focus on, focus on the healing. You can use this as your imagery. Okay, I'm going to cross the bridge, go to the water, right? Imagery also, I use them like, I love this reading as well because it brings in your intuition, actually enhances your intuition by seeing visualization because your third eye has a lot of visualization. Yes, it's going to bring in the clarity. Yes. So having the clarity to end the understanding and the growth as the Ace of Swords is the growth card and we have growth here. So it's going to bring in the self-growth and the self-understanding and making you understand things more as well. So as the clarity comes in, it's going to bring in this understanding. It's going to make you understand things that you've never understood before. Rejuvenating Rain has the two of coins. This is where you're going to be able to weigh the pros and cons and say, this is what I want. This is how I'm going to juggle these things. This is how I'm going to juggle, right? Juggling the thoughts around. You can do that because of what? Because of, um, you can be doing some reflection work. Well, they're high priestess. Okay. I was looking for, you know, maybe a hermit, but we'll take the high priestess and this is your card anyway. So they're saying, no, you're not going to go into no reflection. I don't want you to reflect. I want you to go straight into high priestess mode over here, Pisces, because this is where you feel more comfortable. This is you. Feeling comfortable, knowing your intuition, knowing how to get to your intuition, and knowing how to clear the mind. Going into a place that Pisces knows how to get into, and it's the same, almost the same place that Cancer can get into as well. That's why you guys share this card. It's almost the same, just a little bit different. Okay, this place is the place you will recognize the five of coins, and while you feel why... Why? Because remember, you're juggling these thoughts. Why do I feel like I'm out in the cold? Why do I feel like I'm rejected? Why do I feel like they're neglecting me? You're going to release this, remember, with the rejuvenating rain, getting past all of those hurts, all of those pains. Oh, I'll look at all the pain. Look at all the pain. Oh, look at all the pain. Okay, so we're going to release the pain. Release with the high priestess. Yes. This will be justified with the justice card, bringing you to a place of justice, understanding the truth, getting yourself back into a truthful place of balance and balancing yourself out to know exactly what it was. See, as you're juggling over here, Pisces, you're saying, okay, this is the pros and this is the cons. Over here, you're going to say, I'm going to balance them because maybe you're, you know, well, of course, right? Your cons are way up high and you're Pros are way down low. You're going to balance them out and you're going to feel justified. You're going to feel balanced. You're going to find out the truth, the ultimate truth of the situation and feeling the balance for yourself, being in your truth and standing in your truth. And this is where the blessings are going to be shared within your life. The truth is, you know, what is the truth? I, you know, what is the truth? 
That's what, you know, that's what I would like to, you know, I know a lot of you are like, so what, what would be the truth? The truth would be the page of cups that you can support yourself and that you are supported all around you. You are never alone. You always have someone supporting you, whether it's divine, your higher self, another person, there's always someone and you're going to stand in this truth as here we come as a Piscean card. Right, standing within your own support, supporting yourself, your ideas, and knowing exactly where you should be and how you should be treated and who you are. For the rainbow blessings and the blessings of showering over your life, clarify, being able to not feel stuck anymore and being able to move in the direction that you want to be in the direction of. Why? Because of the support, the truth, and the balance. And knowing that your life is now justified through that. Bringing in the Ten of Cups. This is the overall achievements for yourself. Feeling the rainbow blessings. Feeling the promise. And feeling the, that you are blessed. The Ten of Cups is a blessing. It's a, it's a satisfied blessing. This will be able to give you the new leap in, of... Um, I want to say leap of balance. I don't... That's what I'm hearing, but it's not the, really the way that we want to say something. Um, I guess you could say jumping hoops over here for this new you. Because it's like leaping towards, how do I say it? Like leaping towards bounds of where you need to be. Taking the risk, taking new adventures, taking on new cycles and feeling like you are exactly where you're supposed to be. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep hearing leap of bounds. They just, uh, spirit, when they speak, sometimes it's. So I hope you know what that, what that means. <clears throat> taking you, it's like taking you beyond. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's a risk, too, no matter what. It's, it's definitely, okay, thank you. It's like the risk. Because with the Ace of Wands, it, it's taking action with a risk for new beginnings and new cycles. So. <coughs> so then you have the growth over here. So, yes, it's putting you back to where you need to be and a fresh new start. With the growth over here, my friends, this is talking about the growth that you are going to have, the growth that you need. The growth and feeling more like yourself again, like the old person you were before all of this, this happened. Or the person maybe you want to be without all of this happening, right? So take it how that resonates. Depends on how far we're going back. It depends on where you feel you're comfortable. It's a place of where you feel comfortable. That's, yeah. You are never done with your spiritual growth. It is a long life process. Please remember this. This is only one piece of a spiritual growth. This is not you being done. You're not finished. You are not dead. You are not going to die. I, I had somebody tell me that too one time. Um, so if I get all this done, then I'm, then I'm going to die. No, because, you, <laughs> you know, no, you're not going to die. Okay. You just have another spiritual growth to go through. It's a lifelong process. You won't be done until you're dead. Okay, there will always be something new to become skilled at and always to enhance your energy. There's a million things you need to be skilled at. This is just one piece of the puzzle. Make your spiritual growth a priority. Set goals to further your knowledge and plan how you are going to achieve this. Share what you have learned with others. You can do this by blogging or modeling the lessons you are learning. Practice visualizing and believing in your inner sense. And that's why I said I love this reading because we're practice light, we're practicing visualization to enhance intuition. And if you guys are clairvoyant, it enhances your clairvoyancy. Start your growth process by taking a deep look within yourself. See yourself surrounded with the white light of your personal power. Hold this vision in your mind and increase your power by seeing your light expanding and emanating from you. Devote yourself to your own growth. Know what makes you feel happy, content, and in charge of your life. And that's what this is here. The bounds. Getting to your own bounds. Getting past leaps and bounds. Um, growing. 
growing to this state of this new you. That's what we were saying. It's, yeah. Feeling where you feel comfortable, where you feel like you are yourself. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.